What is up guys? This is Wolfie TV bringing you a tutorial, a how to set up your live stream for a not so popular streaming website. Um, for this instance, for me, it's going to go ahead and be stream.me because this is what I stream at currently. Um, and for those of you that do stream here and don't know how to get the information that you need, um, it's right here. You just go to the home page, start here, really simple. You just hit this broadcast tab. That's all you have to do. It's right here, your stream key and your stream path. Easy enough. So, uh, and this tutorial is going to be made for OBS and XSplit. So if you do use XSplit, go ahead and skip ahead and you can start there. Uh, here's OBS. I'm going to bring this over. Uh, it's a settings button down here in the bottom right. Go ahead and hit broadcast settings. And you see um, three different things that are going to matter here. It's going to be streaming service, FMS URL, and play path stream key. So go ahead and change streaming service from Twitch or whatever you, you did use. Um, go ahead and change it to custom and then you'll see this FMS URL that's gonna go ahead and be your stream path uh, you see right here where my mouse is hovering over uh, to the right of OBS you just go ahead and copy and paste that in and you're good to go and then your stream key is gonna be the next thing it's over here as well above the path this 20 digit um, code or so and you post you paste it right in there and you're good to go. And if you're streaming on stream.me, you're not capped at a bit rate. You're you're free to do whatever you, your computer can handle. So go ahead and jack this up with, to whatever you can do. Maybe the bit rate um, for your audio. I have mine to 192, maybe 160. Um, whatever you can handle. Go ahead and do that. So that's it for OBS. You're good to go. Easy peasy. Um, let me go ahead and bring XSplit over here. It's a little different. Easy all the same, but a little different. So uh, first thing you do is you find this broadcast tab up here to the top or near the top right? and you will see um, add channel, remove channel, etc. Um, these are two of mine that I currently stream at. Don't worry about that. So we'll add channel. You would click custom RTMP. What you see is six lines and only two of them really matter. Um, name, if you stream on a couple different websites, you might want to sort it. Um, by the name of the website so maybe if I stream on like hitbox or something maybe I would name this um, Wolfie st stream dot me something like that I don't know. Um, but for now we can just call it your uh, your user RTMP URL uh, is the next thing that really matters you just take that that stream path right here or the stream URL and you paste it right in there and the next line that matters is stream name that is actually your stream key so you take that 20 digit uh, code and you just paste it right in there and you are done. Um, make sure if you're adding a new one to jack this bit rate up. It's a little low uh, for default. Maybe you change this to 160, 192 or so. And like I said before, if you're streaming on stream.me, you can make this whatever you want, whatever you can handle. So go ahead and jack it up and make your stream look all nice. Um, but that's it. That is all you need to know um, to live stream on a custom quote unquote custom website um, and once again if you haven't checked out stream.me go ahead and check it out man it is great the people here are great the developers are wonderful they're putting a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of money into this and I can see it going places um, you know and if this if this uh, tutorial helped you out and you liked it go ahead and thumbs it up um, and if you subscribe I'll love you forever but I don't really release that many videos, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, until my next video, I will check you guys later.